we'd like to welcome you to this very exciting event to announce the latest development of the Raspberry Pi product roadmap. I'm Claire Doyle, head of Raspberry Pi for Element 14. The Raspberry Pi has been revolutionary board for engineers and electronic enthusiasts. And Element 14 has been instrumental in its evolution. Shortly, I'm going to be handing over to Eben Upton, CEO of Pi Trading, to talk to you about this very latest exciting technology release. I'll then give you an overview of how Element 14 has put this device in the hands of customers through the manufacturing and global distribution of Raspberry Pi, supported by an impressive ecosystem of exclusively designed Element 14 accessories. We'll then have a Q&A, which Eben and myself will chair, along with Richard Curtin, Vice President of Strategic Alliance from Element 14. And we'll also be supported through that Q&A by Liz Upton, Head of Communications and Marketing for Pi Trading, and also Pete Lomas, um, one of the co-founders of Pi, and also one of the board directors of Pi Foundation. For those of you and all our friends out there on the Hangout, um, please email your questions through. We'd love to hear from you. The email address is media at element14.com. And don't forget, the Hangout is recorded and be available um, for you to watch again, if you like it that much, um, on Element 14 community website later on today. So without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Evan Upton, CEO of Pi Trading. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Claire. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. So <clears throat> welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, thanks for turning out so early on a Monday morning. Um, I just thought, yeah, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about this new toy that we're announcing today. So we've been doing Raspberry Pi for, um, depending on how you count, somewhere between three and eight years. Um, and as I guess a lot of you know, you know, the thing that we've been trying to do with Raspberry Pi is to get more children uh, into computing. We've been trying to give children today the same kind of experience that uh, people of my generation, people who grew up in the 1980s and early 1990s had, the idea of having a computer in your bedroom which is hackable, which is fun, that you can do fun stuff with, but which is also hackable and gives you a fighting chance of you know, actually learning something about what goes, in, goes on inside the shiny box. Um, we put the original Raspberry Pi into the market with Element 14 on the 29th of, uh, 29th of February 2012. Uh, it's an appalling decision because uh, you know, our birthday parties haven't been really particularly good so far. We're going to have an absolutely fantastic birth birthday party next year. Um, but so we are almost exactly 35, almost exactly 35 months into Raspberry Pi. Um, it's been successful, I guess, beyond our wildest dreams. When we were first doing Raspberry Pi, I think we, we thought, what did we think? We thought we were going to do 2,000, 10,000 <coughs> 10, in our wildest dreams. We might get 10,000 of these into the hands of kids. Uh, we're three years in. We've sold about 4.5 million of them. We think somewhere between 1 and 2 million of those are now in the hands of children. I think for the first few months, <coughs> maybe we were concerned they were going into the pockets of people like me. Um, but over time, it's become clear that there is interest among children uh, in learning computing. As much as anything, there's interest from children uh, in learning a thing that their parents don't understand. Um, and we've been doing this at the same time as a lot of other people. You know, obviously, we've come, we've come to this realization that there's a need for more computer literacy, more genuine, meaningful computer literacy among young people, at the same time as a lot of other voluntary organizations, such as Code.org, um, uh, Code Club, and uh, Code Dojo, and also a growing interest from a lot of corporates. We've had some fantastic support from, uh, we've had some fantastic support from Google, we've had some fantastic support from Oracle in getting Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi related products out into the education system in the UK. Um, so yeah, four and a half million Raspberry Pis, one and a half million of them in the hands of kids. I guess a real surprise for us has been A, the level of hobbyist interest in this, and B, the level of industrial interest in this. So we've actually seen people starting to use Raspberry Pis as industrial control computers. And we've started to see probably over the last year as we've made uh, sort of strides with the software stack on the Raspberry Pi, we've seen people starting to actually use the Raspberry Pi as a regular computer. So you see people finding ways to use a Raspberry Pi as a productivity machine. Um, so. Um, all the way through that, we've, we've done a lot of software investment to make Raspberry Pi 1 into a genuine usable 
um, productivity machine. But all through this, there has all through the last three years, there has been this awareness um, that Raspberry Pi as a platform is deficient in some respects. So Raspberry Pi has a level of computing power of you know a PC from the turn of the century. Um, even after we doubled the RAM six months into the uh, program, still only had half a gigabyte of memory. Um, and so for the last year, we've been looking at ways that we can um, produce a follow-on, a success as a Raspberry Pi that retains all of the you know, all of the positive things about Raspberry Pi, and in particular retains compatibility, and that's really been key to us, retains complete compatibility with the existing Raspberry Pi product line, uh, but addresses those two, those two deficiencies. Um, and today we've got one. So this is a Raspberry Pi 2. Those of you who've seen a Raspberry Pi B+, which is the product we've been shipping since last July, will find it looks kind of um, dispiritingly identical. Um, if you look on the back, you can see the memory's on the back now. That's, that's the, major, that's the major, major aesthetic change. That's what, we're, that's what we're selling this morning, is a computer with memory on the back. Um, but what we've done is we've gone from a single core 700 megahertz ARM 11 to a quad core 900 megahertz ARM Cortex A A7. Uh, it gives us something like six times the processing power. It takes Raspberry Pi to a, a level of performance which makes it genuinely a PC. Um, we have people in the office, we have power users in the office of Raspberry Pi now who are using this as their PC at home. Uh, it is a usable little Linux box. Uh, we've been able to double the memory um, uh, to, 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 one, to one gigabyte, thanks to some sterling work from our friends at Micron. Um, Really what we think Raspberry Pi does is it removes that caveat. Raspberry Pi was a great little PC insofar as it cost you $35. You had to be a bit forgiving because it cost you $35. This still costs $35. This is just a, a great PC. There is no caveat. Um, so we've had a fantastic time developing this. There's been a couple of years of, uh, of some of the most fun engineering I've ever done, certainly. Um, there are about, what, how many of them are these are there in existence today? 100,000-ish? Um, we've been building these solidly at... Uh, um, uh, Sony in South Wales um, for the last uh, few weeks. There are about 100,000 that are in existence. They're available for sale today from our partners at Element 14. Um, and we really can't wait to see what people get up to with them. Uh, so, yeah, hoping for another three good years of, uh, with this one in the market. So, thanks very much. <laughs>